Deftones, Royal, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'll play all the different sections right at the beginning. After that, go back through, give the full explanation. Please hit that subscription button. It's the best way of letting me know you like these Deftones lessons and want to see more of them. And now, let's get on into the video. <laughs> So, uh, with this, we just need a drop D tuning. Uh, lowest note we hit in the whole song is a, a low D, so works just fine in a drop D tuning here. Um, I know Stephen Carpenter's probably, you know, busting on his F sharp standard, but don't really need all that. Just a, a low D is as far as we need, so. And it works uh, really nice with this main riff here, this intro verse riff. We're just pulling off of that first fret to the open. And uh, it, it's a lot of three count in this song, so just think one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, so like I said, we're just pulling off this first fret to open, hit one more open, and very faintly in this initial intro verse riff, you hear probably like something Chino's playing on his guitar where uh, we come off to another open, and then very faintly with a couple of those open D power chords, we hear this uh, F note, this three on the middle D that comes with it. So it's like... Okay, we just very faintly hear that. And then we just finish by doing one more pull off to kind of loop that initial section again, that one to open. Loop it. All right, and then the next section, pretty much the same, but instead of hitting that three on the middle D, we hit a three on the A. It's pretty faint in there as well. All right, and then we just cap it all off by doing a sixth fret power chord, the G sharp. So just six is there on a DAD. Hit it, kind of do a couple more. Drop down to the three for the F. And back up for a couple fives. And we just looped that whole thing for the intro. Right, into the second riff here, uh, we just kind of switched to just uh, some of those three count um, power chords drums here. And uh, we do about four measures of a G power chord there. And with this one, we can even do a little quick, like open low D at the end of it as we're looping it. So just strumming this fifth fret and then just throw in like a quick low D and then just repeat it. All right, so four measures of that. And then we bump up to the sixth fret again, that G sharp, so we'll do one measure of that. And then we hang out on this F uh, power chord here at the threes 
And basically it's, you know, a few measures of that three count comes out to be about, about nine strums. And with this, it's more just kind of like strumming right on the beat. So it's easier to keep track of. Just think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you get to about nine strums of that. And then we just repeat the whole thing. Into the chorus more of that same kind of power chord strum vibe. Um, we just bump up to the eighth fret now for that B flat, hang out there for four measures, and then drop it down to the five, same style there, the G power chord for four measures, back up to the eight at that B flat for four measures, and then cap it off, coming all the way up to tens for the C, all right? <laughs> For the bridge section, it's basically the same as the chorus. We're just swapping out the first two chords. The last two chords are just the same. We're switching that B flat and G for E flat and an F. All right, and they're actually like the these higher voicings of those. All right, I guess if you really wanted to, you could play them down here with the drop tuning. But uh, from what it sounds like, it sounds like a higher voicing of it. So uh, we'll just play that E flat here at the six A with the eights on the D and G, and it's the same style of timing and strum. All right, and like I said, it bumps up to the F, so we just take it up two frets to the eight and the tens. All right, from here on out, uh, it, it ends just like the chorus does. All right, the B flat to the C, so the eights on the D A D to the tens. All right, the interlude section. Um, gets kind of like a helmet vibe to me. Um, it's just this really quick, repeating, um, kind of offbeat power chord thing here. And it's just a quick G to G5, the fives to sixes. Kind of hit it once more, and then we do a quick sixes to three. Over the top of that, we get the second guitar doing some stuff where uh, it comes up and just does this octave bit at the uh, the 10A, 12G, right, that G, and it hits it there, and then it'll give it this slow bend and release, and then come off to an 8 and 10. All right, and then it comes back to that 10 and 12, the G, and it just hangs out there strumming it, occasionally giving it a little bend and release. All right, for the outro, we kind of just go full bore, like the the first intro riff, just kind of cut all the, the fat from it, and we just do a, like three of those pull-offs after the initial one. So it's like we do the one to open, hit, hit a one more open chord, and then a full kind of like DAD. All right, and then we do a real quick three pull-offs. All right, hit the power chord again, and then a full... D A D. 